I used to be a DJ. Where? Really? Michigan State, and then oh, yeah. um, for a radio station in Lansing, Michigan. Oh, cool. Cool. So I love this. And then you went and got a real job. Kill me. Yeah. <laughs> what were you thinking? What am I thinking? I don't know. Out of control. I know. It's just one of those that seemed like a good idea at the time. If, things, all, if huh? I only had a magic ball. <laughs> <laughs> or a tram. <laughs> all right. This will be a golf her in three, two, one. It is this weekend, Golf Guys Live at the PGA Golf Show, and we're just uh, winding our way around. Uh, you know, if, if you get off the beaten path and start walking sideways down the aisles, you uh, you stumble upon some 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 cool stuff. And we are here now with Sarah Schultz with Golf Her, or Golfer, if you say it quickly. That's, that's yeah. cute. It's kind of a pun. It, it is a pun. That's uh-huh. kind of the point. <laughs> you got see, it. You, you yes, nailed it. See, I'm not as stupid as I look. <laughs> I have been told that before. But you you have some wonderful clothes, and, and I was talking, I think your mother-in-law yes. was uh, extolling your virtues, uh, saying that you, you design it, make it, build it, wear think it, it, wear it. Sleep and, it, yeah. dream it. It's all you, man. It is all me. And the moms. The mother-in-law, my mom. Uh-huh. It's a family brand, and we're just trying to grow it each day, each and every day. So what did your mom say when you said, hey, I think we're going to go into the clothing business? I need to make an outfit that fits her. So as long as she okay. had a piece that fit her, <laughs> she was golden. <laughs> and that's really all I have to do each season, find one thing she loves. No. <laughs> so uh, why golf? I grew up playing in Michigan, Okay. Uh, junior golfer on some of the junior tours in Michigan, and cool. there was hideous, hideous golf apparel for girls. Yeah. They were the unflattering khakis. Uh-huh. So then I told myself that day, um, playing with my dad, that I wanted to start a brand. Okay. And 20 years later, uh, <laughs> on my 30th birthday that year, you kind of say, I have to do something with my life, and right. I finally pulled the trigger. Yeah, yeah that, yeah, that is the transitional year. It is. It? <laughs> oh, my God. And then you have a kid like I did this year, and uh-huh. keep the business going. Whoa. And, what am I thinking? So when, when you had the kid, did it say, oh, infant wear, we're going to add the infant line? Uh, of course. No. <laughs> never. I say never, and then you're going to replay this in a year and say, hello. So, so um, let me ask you, where, where's, I always wonder, where does the, the design inspiration come from? You just like dream this stuff up, or what is it? Well, sometimes I'll see a print, and I'm like, I like that. I want to do something or a color around that. Okay. Um, sometimes it's just, yeah, I'll see a design somewhere, and it just inspires me to do something. It could be a swimwear. It could be something that is, you know, just something different. Like my black dress. My, I have a little black dress. Oh. Everybody needs. <laughs> everybody has to have a little black everybody dress, Everybody right? does. So why, why don't we have one in golf? So, boom, there's a little black dress. The little black golf dress. Yes. And it has little shorts underneath, and it has pockets. Most importantly, everything I make is very functional. Why, cool. you know, why not have pockets? You, yep. know, you just have to incorporate really functional pieces. That's, that's it. Uh, so components. now, are you you a trained fashion industry designer person, or are you one of those like you know you got a, a master's degree in physics and just decided to throw that away and do this instead? I have a degree in communication, which oh, is the degree sorry. of lost children and athletes. <laughs> I had a lot of athletes in my, but you do a lot with that degree because you just yeah. kind of work your way around. Now, did you get a BA in communications? I did. Okay, I went to school a long time ago when they were more honest. I got a BS in communications, okay? <laughs> I like I, I might change that. I might, I might carry that. I, I, I think that's true. I mean, it's very apropos. Yes, you know, you know yeah. what? But Mommy said that was okay, too. So you, <laughs> as long as I pay my own bills, I'm good to go. Okay, right? so so what we're talking to here is, is a former radio chick. Yes, Gone Michigan the... State Spartan Radio. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. No, that's okay. Big Ten. That's okay. No, okay. no, no, no. Louisville. Oh, that's okay. You know, okay. national championship, Louisville. You've that's heard okay. of that. Well, yeah. yeah, we'll I see know, you again. We, yeah. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. Everybody this looks has like their this, year. Looks like this might be yours too. By yes, the way, we're just, we, we're just saying. Now. We just got to get paid better. But yeah. Yes. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So, is there any overriding theme to, to your stuff? Fun and functionality, cool. and very comfortable fabrics. I spend a lot of time finding good fabric. All right. Um, it's got to breathe. It's got to. You got to sweat in it. You got to be able to have it breathe. You got to be able to have. I played in it, and it's downpoured. And uh-huh. it dries very quickly. Oh, it's cool. got to be very functional. If you're paying for a, you know, a piece of golf uh, apparel, it's got to be worth it. It I'm, is. I'm looking around, and you are surrounded here by multi-million-dollar corporations. Yes. 
you feel the least bit intimidated? No, I love it. <laughs> I love it because sometimes you see those people, those designers walking by your display. <laughs> and then you see something that looks kind of similar to you. But that's uh-huh. okay. That's okay. I like to be under the radar. Okay. That's what I'm here for. And cool. then one day I said I'll be in that Callaway booth that's across, <laughs> right across the way from that's me. That's right. Callaway, you're going to have to spend more money because it's going to be the golfer booth in another couple that's, of years. And that's a good problem to have. It certainly the, is. Then I need more family. How am I going to hire? <laughs> you need more moms. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> you have any brothers and sisters? I have one sister. Okay, is she married? She is. Well, she's got a mother-in-law, right? I, she does. <laughs> now, my mom's one of 13. We could really start hiring the family. Aunts and uncles? Of course. Cousins. Okay, that was that was free. You don't have to worry about that. Okay? Now you're thinking. <laughs> Let's talk yeah. my business plan later, and then <laughs> we'll really make it happen. Yeah, yeah well, that consultancy is going to cost, but that's okay. okay. We can just <laughs> you know what a, a drink you got it. All right, <laughs> there you go. You know, one one of the things that, that uh, we've been talking with a lot of a lot of women are, are one of our quests in the show here is to get more females involved in playing this game. Absolutely. And uh, you talk to a lot of the the women who are involved in golf, and they say it can start at the pro shop. Put yes. the female clothing. Up front. Of course. Make yeah. women feel welcome when they walk in the door of the clubhouse. Right. Like you're actually thinking about them. And they're thinking about them and that they know that they're right when they walk in the door that, hey, I can play. Hey, yeah. it's here. Yeah. I don't have to find it in the back hiding. Like, just like right. you said, yeah, if they show it, it's gonna, it's really going to help our brand yeah. or, you know, help out ladies golf. Yeah, and you mentioned that you had more, like, club pros coming by to order. Yes. Yes. So yeah, you know what? Obviously, it's, the message is getting out to this Right. Person. It takes one person to yeah. help. So yeah. one person in the club can help build a ladies uh, program. That's ladies it. night, wine and dine. Or, yeah, you wines know. and dines. And it works well. It works well. You still playing a lot? Um, well, I played up until I was eight months pregnant, okay. and then it's still cold in the Northeast. So <laughs> I know um, that's right. It's... I'm in the EWGA; it's a women's right. golf association. Yeah, yeah. So I continue to play. Um, so I'll right. continue to play. Yeah. I got to find a good babysitter. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. You know, there's some golf courses that actually have babysitters. Huh? That's a concept. Come on, ladies! Come on, ladies! Let's make this happen. You know, I am single-handedly making you rich today. Oh. You know? <laughs> I'll put that in. The, I'll put, okay. Yeah, I just a little with thank it. you at the bottom. That's all it takes. And, and 20% gratuity. You got it. Right. Whatever you want. <laughs> Whatever you want. Isn't that the PGA show? Whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, that's it. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever we don't care. Nice looking stuff. Thank you very and much. Can you, people see it online? You got a yep. website? Golfergirl.com. Golfergirl. Yep. So golf, H-E-R. Right. Girl.com. Yep. Cool. And all my social media is golfergirl. Golfergirl. So girl. you can Fantastic. find me. Just type in golfer. You'll find me. You'll find her. You'll so, find me somewhere. Maybe a picture it. of the mom somewhere, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sarah, we found you, and we're glad we did. Yes, thank so, you thank so you much, So thank you for guys. your time, and I uh, hope it works well for you. Yes, I look forward to seeing you next year. We'll be here. All right. Cool.